the um, the big news, of course, in the past few hours has been uh, the Reserve Bank's move, the almost unexpected move to um, cut uh, the OCR by 0.5, 50 basis points, which was not in their reckoning during the year. But even um, economists, um, as um, as recently as the last two weeks, have said, um, oh, they might do a 0.25 cut. They might just keep things as they are. Well, inflation has been knocked off big time. Inflation, they think, is sitting at about the midpoint of two percent. That's the midpoint of between one and three percent, which is the um, Reserve Bank's target. And so they say, yep, we've hit the target, let's go. So 0.5 would mean uh, interest rates will be coming down. I do know that the ANZ have, um, uh, this is not for publication, I'm just telling you only, okay? (laughs) The ANZ have um, been offering uh, clients through uh, select brokers 5.69% which is six, for, that's for the one uh, one year rate, and that's uh, 0.6% down from the lowest rate they're offering right now. So um, quite significant. This will, and I, I do understand too that uh, the profile, the data profile of um, people with the mortgages, uh, people took the one year mortgage so that they could do and change things if things change rapidly, which is about now. So the the majority of people who are um, going to refix will be refixing shortly, and that is because they, they took those one-year rates. They took the heat, they took the punishment, but then they were doing this so they can get the, the lower rates um, from now, which we're going to see. So some of the banks um, will move. You'll see the banks move. And maybe this hour, or maybe tomorrow morning. If it's this hour, then um, Kelly owes me 10 bucks because we had a bet on this. Um, then it may not be. But I do expect the big banks to move. They'll be, um, they didn't factor this in a couple of weeks ago, so I know they moved at the last time the OCR was uh, brought down 0.25, but there's been a 0.75 um, a decrease in the OCR in the past six weeks, so that's good news. And it means that places like retail outlets, um, hopefully, hopefully we'll see a bit of a, a better Christmas than they were hoping because, well, people should have a little bit more money in their pockets. I mean, these things always um, are more effective than tax cuts. Way more effective than tax cuts if you can get your, your timing right when it comes to interest rates. Um, Carolyn Young is the Retail New Zealand Chief Executive. And we'll get her reaction uh, on today's uh, moves. G'day, Carolyn. Nice to have you on the program. Kia ora, nice to have you. Um, this will make you a little bit more upbeat, seeing um, that maybe things are turning in the economy slowly. Look, really d- delighted to see a fifty basis point cut. Right, we were we were kind of banked the 0.25, uh, the 25 basis yeah. points, and we we're hoping for the 50, but you never quite know whether that's your heart or your head talking, right? And so I know that the economists, the, the spread was, you know, between 25 and 75, so really great to get the 50, and I think that, um, as you were just saying about people resetting their mortgages, it'll make them feel a lot better when they get a chance to reset. Quite a few people, I think, are also on floating while they were waiting to see if rates were going to come down so that they could optimise those, you know, interest rates as much as they can, and I'm pretty sure that Kelly probably owes you 10 bucks because I think a couple of the banks um, have already indicated that they've moved, but don't There we go. That. No, no, I'm quoting you. Um, I'm quoting you. Maybe if two banks have moved, maybe she owes me um, f- f- uh, 20 bucks. <laughs> we'll see. But, I mean, I do expect, I mean, the banks hadn't factored this in. I know they priced in the last one because they moved actually before the um, Reserve yeah. Bank last time. But this time yeah. it's pretty significant to go 0.5 on the way down. It really means that they're, they're no longer worried about inflation, which hopefully means that your members um, can can see some of the benefit from that because, boy, they've needed it, haven't they? Yeah, look, um, we're expecting the retail card sales data to come out um, early next week, and I think that will probably tell us that we've had, you know, um, nine quarters in a row of declining sales, and that is pretty hard to withstand if you've been seeing declining sales for that long. Your um, resources and spare cash has gone. Many businesses are, are living in their overdraft, and they're paying high rates for that. So being able to get a bit more consumer confidence, Knowing that inflation is under control, that's going to help everyone across the board because we're all consumers, whether we are um, are working uh, or whether we own a business, we're all consumers as well. And so I think that's a a really important factor to remember. And the indication is that we're going to see another 50 basis point move in the next meeting again that um, would hopefully give us some buoyancy as we head into that really important last couple of months of the year because that is when retailers um, will make the sales that will keep them trading for the rest of the year because that April to September time is is a downtime for retail. So sales aren't strong during that time. So you do require Mm. good sales in the last quarter of the year to give you that cash flow to get you through your quieter months. So 
critical that we um, all see an uplift for Christmas. How have some of these guys got through, Carolyn? Because some of the places I've been around, and I've, I, I, I'm not, I get around, you know, I've got kids, so I'm always doing something, buying something somewhere. <laughs> and and um, and I just look at some of the, the, how quiet some of these places are and the number of staff on there and everything. I'm thinking, how on earth are they? can they afford the rent and all the other fixed costs of this business? And I've been standing in here for 15 minutes and have not seen one person come to the shop. And the, the, the places are just subdued, right? It's all just so subdued, especially people working from home and not going to town. So, so I just, how have they got through? I, I, it's a bloody miracle at times, isn't it? Yeah, it's really tough. And, and speaking to our members, there's a, a bunch of people that, you know, have an overdraft. They've got their business guaranteed via their family home and they're feeling the pressure. So... They don't have any spare cash themselves. They're concerned about their cash they've got to buy forward stock and how they can survive. But they've got their whole world is invested in their business and you know they really want to make it succeed. And so they're doing everything they can um, and trying to pull whatever lever they can. And right now, you know, trying for a small business, you know, trying to be agile, think a little bit about is there some lower price point stock that I could bring into my store that might attract some sales? Um, what are the thing? What's the marketing that I'm doing in terms of you know? Because the digital platforms these days, you can do that relatively cost effectively. What are the things that I can do to to make sure that I'm front of mind? How do I segment out my database to ensure that I'm marketing the right products to the right people and the right demographics? So yeah, you, you've got yeah. to be really clever and work really hard to get that same sale you could get quite easily, you know, six months ago or even a year or two ago.